All right, so I ordered some uh, side mirrors for my Honda Pioneer 700 2021. Um, I decided to go with these from Colpin, mainly because of the price. So I was able to get two pretty solid mirrors for, I think they were 58 bucks or something. I had ordered a, uh, <clears throat> a different kind of set. It was, it was a little more racy looking and uh for 80 bucks and it came and it was one mirror <laughs> and so i for the set it was 160 and i was like ah i don't want that so these do have somewhat of a breakaway it's you can see that there so it does have somewhat of a breakaway there i mean if you hit a branch it's gonna spin it back at you um and it seems solid enough that it withstand pretty much anything you're gonna hit unless it's a big big branch does have kind of a nice as the the bubble mirror and uh then the bigger side mirror i don't know that i care to have this smaller mirror but it'll be nice um comes with nice instructions <clears throat> all the parts laid out and pictures if i can open this pictures on installing it so the mirror install is all laid out here pretty thoroughly so <clears throat> should be nice fairly straightforward <clears throat> that's spanish and then these are the brackets that come with it looks like they've got a rubber sleeve in there for padding another rubber internal sleeve that's it in there and then these nice clamps so that should be just about right for my 700. Looks like they have a smaller clamp as well. So one of these two should fit just perfectly. So you can see that this one's significantly smaller. I think you can see it, this guy. So I'm guessing this is inch and three quarter and this is inch and a half. And I think it's inch and a half. And they've got some instruction, oh, sticker. And probably instructions. So nice, and then there's a second box in here for the other mirror. So it should be a nice, easy setup. Looks like it's got that rounded mount plate. So we'll get that, get that taken care of. I'm guessing, yeah, it sounds like the hardware's in here. Actually, you know what? I wonder if I was, yeah, so all the hardware should be in this box. Yeah, there it is. Perfect, so another set of clamps and all the hardware. So let's, uh, it's freezing outside right now, so I'm trying to decide if I wanna go out there, <laughs> put these on right now. Let's go take care of that. If you scroll down the instructions, it has two inch, 1.7, 1 and 7 eighths, one and five eighths. So this is us right here, number five. So they want me to use the 1.75 inch clamp which I believe is the smaller clamp, this guy, the smaller of the two clamps. And they've provided four clamps, two larger, two smaller. And they're telling us to, with the U-type rubber grip pad, so I believe that's this rubber pad that's in there. Slip that in there and flat rubber sh shim. So there's two, there's this flat rubber shim. The U-type gripping pad will be inserted between the clamp and the flat shim to increase friction and dampen vibrations as shown. Okay, so it looks like this guy will fit in there and then we'll, it'll sit inside the clamp, but And then this clamp just lines up on each side, just like that. So, looks fairly straightforward. And then somehow you incorporate this guy. <clears throat> no, both shims, the bow shims, typo there. The bow shims will need to be trimmed to best fit 1.63 inch round tubing using a scissors or not using a scissors or not cut one inch of material from end of pad as shown 
so all right so i guess we'll be trimming that pad so it looks like this is the illustration that we're using not all that clear on what it means but we'll figure it out maybe we'll do our own setup here and i'll show you what i do somehow we're incorporating this flat piece <clears throat> the smaller of the two clamps that came with this mirror and then there's two size two uh, large and small for the other mirror <clears throat> and this guy right here this rubber pad and then we'll use these two bolts and it looks like we won't be using these deals these are for some other setup maybe like a square bar or something like that. let's go attempt this all right i did decide that i need to trim an inch off this and there's kind of a i don't know if it's a coincidence but there's a seam right here where i can trim that off so I'm going to do that, and then it should fit really nice up on here. So, let me get to that point. All right, so you can see off the flat piece and that rimmed piece, I cut an inch. And that lines up with this drawing, so or the picture here. So this is that rimmed piece, and that way this the mirror can sit flush against the pipe. And then that internal flat piece comes to about right there. And that's exactly what I have here, as you can see. So I should be able to slip the mirror in there and then just cinch this up perfectly tight. So let me do that. All right, I finally got it to snug. And even then, it has a little bit of wiggle to it. I took that one-inch rimmed piece and put it in the back there. And then that was a little bit too loose with just that. So I tried to put this one-inch flat piece and tuck it in the back there, but I couldn't get the bolts through. It just, it was off by just enough and I just could not muscle it to get it to, to go into place. So I took that one inch flat piece and just slipped it over here onto the side and then it went in and that's, that's pretty darn stuck. I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere and I don't think it's gonna rattle. So I think it'll be good. I mean, it's, at, at one point I was ready to give up and just send these dumb things back. But now that it's on and I finally got it right, I mean, if you're doing this on a Honda Pioneer 700 2021, this size bar, this is pretty much the rubber setup you're gonna have to use. So I know this is a long video for such a simplistic thing, but if anybody else does these, because they are a pretty good deal, um, and they look pretty decent, so you can see them there. I'm just gonna replicate the process on the other side and then I'm gonna go in there and loosen that bolt and then this whole assembly should rotate here along that seam and then I'll tighten that bolt. I believe that's the next step and that'll straighten that mirror up. So, but let me, uh, So when that's tipped up, it moves pretty nice. So if a branch hits it, it's gonna flip in. It has a little bit of wiggle there, so if a branch hits it, but I could see if a branch hits it on the top and forces it down. I'm assuming this might spin, but it's pretty darn tight. So I'm guessing it might just break the mirror if it hits from the top. But from the side, it's gonna pop in. But I think they'll be great. So next step. Okay, so I loosen that bolt in there. 10 millimeter but you have to it's not just a loosen and rotate you kind of you pretty much have to take it off and then you can see that it has these teeth in here and teeth in there and then you can match it so that it's standing straight up so that's about where i want it and you just hold it against there and then you screw that bolt in back in so it's tight so let me do that. okay it's on so i'll be honest i don't like this split I wish it was just one full piece. So if Colpen has another one that's a full piece, I would recommend ordering that. But it 
all I need it for is a quick glance to make sure there's not a something behind me when I'm backing up for plowing and around camp and stuff, I guess. But I just need it for function, a quick functionality, not like long-term driving like on a car or something like that as far as just being able to check your mirrors constantly for traffic behind you. So I think these will do the trick and I'm pleased with the price. So <clears throat> when they adjust really easy there so and that's a pretty tight fit so let me get the other one on and then i'll end this kind of a longer video than i intended it to be quick before i put this one on i have this lipped thing i cut an inch off of it and i put that in so it circles around and then i put the flap on in and i cut an inch off it and i put it in and now what i did on that other one i took this guy stuck it in the back there and then I couldn't get this one to fit in there and be able to bolt through. So I ended up just setting it on the side there and that created enough tension that it tightened against the bar. And I slipped these two smaller pieces in on that one after I had it clamped around on my bar. So I'll probably do that same thing here. And then I'll slip the bolts through, tighten it down. Be good. All right, they're installed. I suppose you can adjust the height however you want, but there and so pull that one in a bit. There we go. So <clears throat> again, I don't like the split, but it'll get me what I want as far as uh, just being able to check and make sure there's nothing there behind me off to the sides so. see how they function over time but they adjusted fairly simply so. and again i just went under there with that 10 millimeter bolt on both sides just this one and i think you can adjust something here too as well the instructions will tell you that but i think they're they're pretty much what i want so looks good anyway thanks for watching the video Sorry it's so long for such a simple install, but this guy's pretty excited about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.